In a previous video, we made a cheater scythe by folding a piece of metal without the use of the forge. Now, having tested that and seen that it works, I have enough confidence to try making one in the forge. Here, we're upsetting a railroad spike to get the shape we want. This used to be a railroad spike. It's now a lot longer than a railroad spike. Throwing it out took forever. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and flatten it now, because this is about as long as I figure I can get it. And it's time to start making it scythe-looking. Scythe-y. Scyther. That's a Pokemon. Scythe. Starting to look. I got it long, I got it straight, I got it relatively flat, and now I've curved it too much on purpose. Because if you hit on only one side of a piece of metal, it naturally unbends. And I want it to unbend into a shallower curve. Here is the finished forging, as far as I can tell. That is the blade shape. This is the tang shape. I have a suspicion that this might not be at the right angle, but that's going to have to wait until I have it to see, because I don't have a lot of experience to base this off of. It's a little bit of play it by ear, you know what I mean? It's slightly longer than the cheater scythe that I made. It's got a couple inches on it. And the angle of the inside blade is way better. I'm just saying, a tiny bit of experience goes a long way for making it better. Cereal Rye, I have come for you. cheater scythe by a method of metal origami, holding a piece of 16 gauge sheet steel over and over again until we achieve the desired result. Given new confidence by that previous project, we're going to try forging one out of a railroad spike. 